Coming up on Talk is Cheap, we look at Fort Knox. It's empty as hell. There's only cockroaches left. And, uh, oh, yeah, and a UFO shot a poor feller. <laughs> Talk about that, all that, and uh, nothing more coming up next. Cheap is talking, talk is cheap. My name is Dusty Long. With me today, as always, is the guys working the knobs. I'm TC. <laughs> hey there, TC. How are you today, Maybe sir? I take over while he's fixing yeah, shit. He's got to. He's just got to play with a knob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a knobber. There we go. <laughs> he said, "I have something to say." So, TC, how you doing today? Pretty good. Uh, we did a live stream last night. Yes, you got did. a you got a little tank. Just a little bit. Just a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Um, just so you guys know, we do live streaming now on YouTube. And last night, TC had a little too much to drink, and we went to play um, that island. Yep. Right afterwards, he sends me a, a party request, <laughs> and I didn't hear another word from him since, till this morning. And uh, the acronym is D A K, dead at keyboard. Yep. Yeah, dead at keyboard. I was going to say it's drunk at keyboard, but dead <laughs> is the same thing, right? Yeah, and absolutely. then also with me, of course, is. Dan Holfeld, how you doing there, buddy? Bad, not bad. That how was you? fun live streaming. It was a blast, was it not? Oh, yeah. We got to do that again. I think we will. That shit show was a shit show. It was, it was. Yeah. but it was fun it from is. what I remember. <laughs> Just free flowing and bullshit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what you remember? <laughs> All right, today I have a uh, topic given to me by Donna Bolstead from well, where we work. I can't say that name. We're not in no way sponsored or affiliated with them. <laughs> Maybe someday. I don't know. <laughs> someday. Uh, but <laughs> she. Uh, she asked me the other day, to, oh, God, she asked me a couple months ago, and I just now got to the, uh, the information about Fort Knox being empty. All the gold is gone. She's a regular viewer on? Yeah. She says she, uh, she's my biggest fan. Really? Not really, but I think <laughs> no. she is. So what do I have for you today is I have uh, four different articles. One's a wiki page talking about um, the gold. Okay, so here's yep. a, just an overview right quick. So the gold in Fort Knox, we're not on the gold standard. I mean, there's no that doesn't back our U.S. currency, um, but they keep. What the hell did I do? But they keep it there, and when they asked, they were like, "Eh, we just kind of do it because that's the way things kind of are, and whatnot." So it's the most secure Fort Knox, the most secure vault in the world. It was completed in 1936. It's encased in 16,000 cubic cubic feet of granite and 4,200 cubic yards of cement. Nice. The vault door weighs an astonishing 22 tons and is made of 21-inch thick material that is resistant to drills, torches, and explosives. Holy fuck. It comes with a bomb-proof roof, too. I mean, they just threw that in. Right. <laughs> they, they were right. done well. Hey, why not? <laughs> um, they have video cameras, minefields, barbed wire, electric fences, armed guards, even unmarked Apache helicopter gun show, uh, ships. Um, but it's also located within the U.S. Army Post Fort Knox, which is 109,000 acres of just greenery, nice stuff, tanks, you know, that type All of thing. That fun stuff. Yeah. So what's inside? Just for decoration. <laughs> <laughs> Don't right. mind the guys with the M16s, it's fine. Um, so what's inside of there? The government will tell you that almost 5,000 metric tons of gold excuse me, or roughly 3% of all the gold ever refined throughout human history is safely sealed inside the vault. Wow. Now, here's where the controversy is. Um, first of all, they won't let us audit Fort Knox. They won't, they won't let us. They won't. Uh, I'm sure with all the political things going on right now, you might have seen edit, edit the Fed or audit the Fed, audit the Fed, and no one ever does it. Who's uh -huh. in control of it? Why can't we? Be, well, you know, that's We're another conspiracy, can't. yeah. The federal... Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to try to make this really clear cut and easy. You have the government and then you have the federal bank. Okay. That's not, it's in charge of our money and our monetary, uh, but it's Reserve. not the Federal Reserve, yeah. but it's not actually part of the government. Yeah. It is like a central bank. Yeah. Okay. So we want, uh, all these people are like, audit the Fed. We want that audited. Um, I just came across another article while researching this that I don't have, but they, uh, I think it was in, God, I want to say 2003. There was uh, Congress, you know, they had the, the people out there, and they're like, what the hell happened to the aircraft, whatever? Mm -hmm. Well, Congress had the same type of thing on C-SPAN, and what they asked was, where's the $90 trillion? And the right. lady's like, we, we, we really don't know. Uh, we're looking into that, you know, and we're going to see if I can find somebody who knows something about something else that can do this. What have you done to investigate the off-balance sheet transactions conducted by the Federal Reserve, which, according to Bloomberg, now total $9 trillion in the last eight months. 
I, I'll have to look specifically at that Bloomberg article. I, I'm not, um, I, I don't know if I have actually seen that particular one. That's not the point. The question is, have you done any investigation or auditing of off-balance sheet transactions conducted by the Federal Reserve? At this point, we're at the very, we're conducting our lending facility project at a fairly high level and have not gotten to a specific level of detail to really be in a position to respond to your question. Have you conducted any investigation or auditing of the losses that the Federal Reserve has experienced on its lending since last September? We're still in the process of conducting that review. And, and it's like, where's the $90 trillion, lady? Right. So the thing of it is, since they're their own entity and they control our money system, but they don't talk to the government, the government's not in control of it, we, we, we try to audit them and it has to be through legislation and all this other stuff. Don't you think it's great that they can lose money like that? Oh, keep it hush hush, but we better have every fucking right. receipt when we get audited. Oh my God, right? I mean, there's no joke. And you guys can do all the research you want. I'm not joking. When you, when you, when I started doing this, it, the rabbit hole is pretty deep when it comes to the Federal mm -hmm. Reserve Bank. Thousands and trillions of money gone, and that's what they think of this is too. Um, and the fake, the the gold isn't. It's not that the gold is gone. Well, some people believe that. They just don't know where it is. <laughs> they, <laughs> right. They have gone ahead and they've they've taken the gold brick and they drilled out the core. And they filled it with tungsten. Oh, sure. Because tungsten yeah. has the same weight as gold. Mm -hmm. So you can have a gold brick. It's like, oh, this is a gold brick. It weighs the same amount, so I believe it's a gold brick. So that's why this kind of occurred. And uh, I can't remember. I have that up here. Wait a second. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, Chinese, the Chinese, discovered fake gold bars um, in 2009. Now, I read this article, and tungsten, it says here, this is why I brought it up, uh, complained fake tungsten at roughly $10 per pound would be the metal of choice is the exact same density as gold, making a fake bar salted with tungsten indistinguishable. Whoa. Indistinguishable. <laughs> Thank you. From a solid gold bar by simply weighing it. Um, now, this is surfaced in Hong Kong. This is surfaced in the UK, and it's sur sur uh, surfaced someplace else. Now, the problem with this, this whole, the biggest problem with this whole thing is, after doing the research, is these gold bars are being um, circulated through governments this isn't some guy off the street like oh right. i got this gold bar here it is no this is somehow managing to get through the whole system one of these articles is talk it talks about these uh the the bank paid a hundred thousand dollars from another bank and what the guys did was they got a gold bar and they had all the serial numbers and they they actually made tungsten bars put all the serial numbers and everything exact i mean fake as hell mm -hmm. and then they had a thin foil like layer of gold over the whole thing Took it to the Federal Reserve. You know, how do you do gold? You weigh it. Right. They weighed it. It was good. They sent it someplace else. And uh, I, th I think it was this one. But um, They didn't try to, like, scratch it like it they was do with the knife? Well, no, no. Here it is right there. Look at that. Here's a picture. Oh, my God. But this Jeez. goes to Germany. And this old man, this is really cool. This old feller. Where was it at? Because I thought it was so awesome. Here it is. The smelting plant's 30-year-old owner told the news outlet how one of his workers pointed to one of the gold bars in the foundry. Foundry, He insisted something wasn't right about it. This just this dude just like, you know what? I don't like that one. So what do they do? He, oh, you know, that's, there it is. The owner explained that he trusted his longtime employee's gut instinct, and they cut the bar in half. Huh. They were shocked to find the bar filled with worthless tungsten instead of pure gold. This gold came right from the ger German government. They mm -hmm. got this shit. Got it in, sent it down here to be resmelted, and that's when they found out it was it was fake. How much to this was there? Um, I don't remember how much they said. Man, that could be a lot. A right. lot. Four counterfeit gold bars. Oh, so that's hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. Um, China. That's the other uh, article I had up. China had the same thing, and this is what I was just talking about. Two years later, two thousand twelve. This is where they had the uh, the reputable, the most reputable, reputable. I can't speak today. Uh, apparently, it's, yeah, it's illegal for me to say words. Um, gold dealers in New York they went ahead and, and uh, bought these for $100,000, and he goes ahead and tests it. He drilled a hole in the soft metal. Shocked to see the bar is nothing more than a block of gray metal with a thin foil like wrapped or gold around it. So what it is is they think Fort Knox, the, our government has done this. Right. Because we haven't, it's not audited. We They say there's money down there. But it's it's not there. China got money from or gold bars from us from Fort Knox, had tungsten in it. Mm -hmm. Now that other article I had up, 
does speak about how China kind of shut the hell up about it, and apparently some people are prosecuted, so that could have been it. But we don't know what's in there. We don't know what the Fed has done. They've lost trillions. They have all the gold bars, apparently. We don't know. Right. So that's what it is. Now, Germany here, this article here, Germany went ahead and tested some gold bars on February 19, 2015. This is the earliest thing I could find about it, uh, um, being empty and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And everything that they tested was good. 100% gold, we're all good. However, out of all the bars that are there, they only got to test... You know, a few bars. Right. So uh, then, of course, because that's interesting, but that's all the information I really found on it. We don't know because we can't. This, the problem with this is we do not have any regulatory on the, you know, Fort Knox, the Fed. We have nothing. Mm -hmm. And these guys, they don't have to be clairvoyant. They don't file taxes. They don't have any of that shit. So they're taking your money, my money, everything, and they're doing whatever the fuck they want with it. And I'm sorry, but that's what's wrong. Absolutely. You know, Big Snowden problem. filed on that. He's like, they sh they shouldn't be. They're, they're sending money out, you know, and yep. they loan money. They loan money to other countries and governments backing with that gold, but no one knows where the gold's there. So it's a it's a pyramid of paper. I right. mean, they, they're, uh, there's another thing about this, too, about how the insure, the housing market crashed. They did it. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you have that. So then, of course, after all that, I because, you know, we are talking cheap. Do you know when the first UFO ever shot down a plane was right over Fort Knox? Did you know that? A UFO shot a plane down? Look at this. Mantel <laughs> UFO incident. I had to bring this up because we are talking cheap, and I yeah. figured, you know, already in the Fed and whatnot. Um, what is his name? Mantel is the, the, the man's name. He's an experienced pilot. He uh, he was honored for his part in the Battle of Normandy in World War II, and anyway, so over over there in Fort Knox, there was a uh, object, and the uh, people witnessed it and they talked about it and yada yada yada, and after and they said it flew close to the ground and then it shot up in the air and everything else. So these three guys they go out and one of them happens to be Mantel, and. Uh, Montel. Montel. <laughs> no, was, I'm oh. talking about the talk show host. <laughs> <laughs> so the two other pilots were with um, Mantel. I think it's how you say it. And they started in steep pursuit of the object. So they started, you know, doing the, mm -hmm. the really steep pursuit thing there. Um, they later reported they saw an object but described it as so small and indistinct that they could not identify it. Um, the other guy, he said it was uh, about one-fourth the size of a full moon. He, if through his binoculars, he said it was pretty large as having the appearance of a flaming red cone trailing a gaseous green mist. Uh, he observed it for 35 minutes. Um, the other guy said that just before leaving, it came very near to the ground, staying down for about 10 seconds and climbed very fast rate back up to its original altitude of 10,000 feet. So what this is doing now is it's hovering and then it, it came down to the you know, earth and then shot straight back up. So they sent the, pla the, the planes after it. So they're they're flying uh, P-51s, and they get up there, and they start their start steep climb, and the, his oxygen, one of the guy's oxygen mask um, was in low supply, so this uh, gentleman named uh, El Lieutenant Albert Clements, so he says, I'm done. He's calling off the pursuit. Um, Mantel continued to climb, however, according to Air Force, according to Air Force, Mantel passed 25,000 feet, blacked out from lack of oxygen. And his plane began to spiral back towards the ground. Witnesses later report Mantell's uh, Mustang in a circling descent. His plane crashed to the farm. So that's the official story. Um, oh, not the whole thing. Um, they're saying that he wasn't even um, looking at a UFO. He could have been flying after Venus. This is great. So Venus explanation and rejection. So the, you know, the <laughs> I love this. So the crash was investigated by Project Sign, <laughs> the first Air Force research group. And they noticed, or they go ahead and they uh, they were getting questioned by quite a bit of the media. So they were like, okay, we got to come up with something really good. What can we think of? You know, what, what can we think of? Right? Swamp gas is getting old, so they got to yep. think of something else. Something yep. So they said, all right, Venus, the planet Venus. <laughs> Venus has been their target of chase. Several weeks before, there were similarities between sightings and uh, Mantel's incident. So the word Venus went out. Um, so he was. So what they said really was Mantel had unfortunately been killed trying to reach the planet Venus. <laughs> <laughs> Is he playing awesome. uh, No Man's Sky? Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, of course, that didn't work very well. Disrespectful to his family and everything. Jesus. So everyone threw a big fit. No, there's no way, you know, this and that. Because they said it was a white speck. I mean, but come on now. The guy's a hell of a pilot. Do you think he's going after a star? Right. So then they say, oh, wait, no, we were wrong. It's a skyhook. And what this is is a skyhook was a weather balloon operation. So, of course, this made a little bit more sense. Um, cause it was a secret, um, deal at the time. And this mm-hmm. is the same thing they said was in Roswell was, uh, um, one of these, heat, these, uh, weather balloons. So what they said was that that took off and of course it's full of helium. It takes off very rapidly. People could have saw it. The only problem with this is I've never seen one of those balloons hover and then dip down about 10 feet above the ground and then zip back up. I mean, right. I'm supposed there could be some kind of weather thing there or whatnot, but I don't know. You can tell me. Yeah, what are they called? Wind gust or whatever, but no. Yeah. And then the other thing was Mantell's body is found riddled with bullets. The body was missing. The plane had completely disintegrated in the air, and the record was radioactive. So there's the conspiracy. They're saying that it was nothing, nothing going on, Mm -hmm. but they're saying these other people are saying he got too close to the UFO, it shot him down, and he came down. And this is the uh, first ever recorded supposed UFO shooting hmm. people. So. And that was what year? This was 1948. 48? Yep. January 7th. Yep. So, I mean, first of all, you had the first ever UFO shooting people down, and it holds all, you know, all this gold, supposedly. We don't supposedly. Know right well, 47 was Roswell, correct? Yep. Believe so. So, this is the year yeah. maybe they got pissed off. <laughs> Supposedly, yeah, right. 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 <laughs> Shot down one of ours, we're gonna shoot down one of theirs. Have you heard of UFOs being shot or you know, you you know, shooting other planes or anything? I've never heard that. I Me really either. haven't. This is the first time I've actually they shifted the blame and because of their idiotic mistake. Oh, I no, it shot at me. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> I suppose. I don't know. But this is the first time I ever heard of a uh, UFO actually attacking a plane right. in, the, in, the, in essence of killing a man and putting it down, I guess. So. So, yeah, there you go. Fort Hood, or Fort Hood, that was where I was stationed at. Fort Knox, completely empty or has gold bars filled with tungsten. We don't know. We can't audit anything. That's the government so, fucking you so over. So, building is just sitting there empty, basically, and then... We don't know. Yeah. Supposedly. They could have... I've heard reports that the Roswell, after the Roswell, they took shit to Area 51. They also took sh- uh, stuff to the Edwards Air Force Base, and they also took stuff to Fort Knox. I mean, this is a humongous vault. You're not going to just hold gold there, too. You could hold... Anything you want. Anything and much. everything. I mean... What I said, you I mean 21 inch thick doors is bomb proof, it's quake proof, and everything else. I mean, hell, you could have Walt Disney down there and Frozen Hitler, and we wouldn't know, you know. <laughs> Father Crispy, <laughs> right? Father <laughs> he Christy. was so mad. <laughs> Don't touch my bathtub. Oh, shit. So, I mean, what you know, I, I did a lot of talking there, and I apologize. I didn't have a lot of back and forth, but I thought it was really interesting. I had a lot of fun researching it, but. Well, yeah, fuck. I, that's one thing. Like, if you go to buy gold, that's what you got to be worried about. Well, I guess that'd have to be big bars to be like that. Right. But even the small one ounces, you know, you got to watch out for that shit. Yeah, it's a good thing to invest in. I mean, gold yeah. always has a really stable price. So if you're like, I like to prep, I've always wanted to buy gold. You know, mm-hmm. it's good to trade and everything else. Right now, what I have for trading is a lot of liquor. Because <laughs> I figure shit well, hits the fan. I mean, everyone's going to want to get hammered. Oh, yeah. You Absolutely. got your Star Wars toys, too. So No one touches those. No? no <laughs> <laughs> Can't trade my collection those. goes with me to the grave. <laughs> Unless my kids want Dusty it. Then they can have huffing it. it through the apocalypse <laughs> desert land with a bag full of fucking Just, collectibles. I'm starving to death, but I got a fucking rucksack full of collectibles. <laughs> Sir, I will give you this freshly baked bread for that Star Wars mask. No! <laughs> Star first. Yep. You dumb... This is a collector's item. Oh when my kids are younger, they'd walk up to it, and I have them in the boxes still, and they'd be like, Dad, can we play with these? No. Why do you keep them in the box? Because they're in the... Just don't touch them. So they'd like play next to them. <laughs> oh, you're trapped, I see. <laughs> yes, I am. You were using that... Star Wars mask on recording board of yeah, Star Yes, I did. I that, that one you can. Yeah, one. that one you can. The batteries died <laughs> on me. I was, I was at the end of the table just looking at it. <laughs> it was weird because it's like you'd talk and there'd be a little bit of delay. Oh, I should oh, have yeah. brought my. Uh, I got my mom got me a big Pez dispenser with the the Vader. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. my god, it's badass. That's great because she's she's always going rubber sale and then these people they don't know what they have. Right. And, you know what is it? I don't know if it's worth a penny or you know hundred dollars, but she sees anything Star Wars, she's like oh. Buying that for my son. <laughs> so my mom's got all this Star Wars shit walking out. People are like, really like Star Wars? 
No, my son's a dork. Right. <laughs> They're going to your how old? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I have toys in the boxes. All right, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, shit. I got a Ron Paul action figure in the box. So. That's still badass, yeah. Oh, of yeah. course. Oh, yeah. It's they should have put a twist tie around him, though, because you, know, you move the box, he's like, oh, hello. Oh, was, it wasn't yeah. done right the way it was supposed to be. But. Which is too bad, because yeah. Ron deserves more respect. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So... Well, I, don't know. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Uh, I really enjoyed doing it. Thank you again, Donna, for the idea. Um, yeah, you know, auditing the Fed is really important. People probably don't know or, you know, they need to. We don't audit those people. We don't know where our money's at. So uh, that really is important to me, especially with this political yeah. system and, and where we're at now, the elections coming up and what's going on and all the fear mongering and, and hate and everything else. I mean, it's, I'm going to get on my soapbox here, but come on now. I mean, we really don't want to live that way. No. Um, but ultimately, I think things need to change. There's absolutely. You know, absolutely no reason why we should keep going this way. It's not working. But Fort Knox, cool as hell. Love doing it. Thank you, Donna. Um, Mantel UFO incident. That poor guy, he got too close to Venus and got shot by <laughs> Venus. So uh, I'm Dusty Long. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. Dan Holfeld, Casey Crisman. All right. Thank you very much. Bye. By coasting, otherwise, if you have it off, it's gonna take longer to slow down. Also called a engine brake, which is, it does help. Like you know, if you're on the highway. This whole time I watch this, all I want to do it. is hit one fucking car on purpose. And, uh, <laughs> like you will not pass me. Help to prevent from your end. Or like uh, Demolition Man, where every time he swears, it just prints out a ticket. Oh yeah. Cut. I could use these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's well, the three seashells? Well, he doesn't know, he doesn't know what the three seashells are doing.